Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. Today, continuing Baldur's Gate 3. So in the interim between this video and last video, I cleaned up the inventory. You see we now have 8,663 gold. So we got a lot of gold. And better than that is we got clean inventories for everybody. And we also got this strange Gale's pouch, which we've got to check out at another point. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so we're going to start here by talking with Kaga, because we have not had a conversation with her yet. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Okay. Thanks, Kaga. have seen everything. with Nettie. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. We'll say you're just lucky I didn't swig that potion. Ha! Huh. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do when you told me about that tadpole. We'll say you're very welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanas's peace to this place, but I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Pouch. Awesome. A lot of stuff here if the druids ever head off, but I don't think they will. Instead, let's push on over here. That vessel contains a parasite. You should take it. Hastily written note. My dear Nettie, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library. Wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Rap. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone. So be sure to have a, you have a good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone. And take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet. She's getting lazy. Master Halson. Halson's Journal, Volume 1. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins, led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary, or rather disturbing, part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and have the host cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't yet have. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Cool. Very cool. Oh, we can't. We can only take this. Was that right? Can we, can we read this the same thing here, I think? Yeah. Cool. So, notes on the drought parasite. Here we go. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an illithid tadpole are accompanied by notes in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, illithid undoubtedly, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of seromorphosis on the cadaver, most strange. Final note is a single underlined word altered. Interesting. Oh, what's all this over here? In Ketherick, I see our failures made manifest. He did not fall, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, and still we did not act until his light was all but snuffed. This is a personal account, interesting. So talks about Ketherick in some form. So does that mean? 
so since I, I actually don't know what, at the time of this recording, which is amazing, because they're like, it's 8, 14, 23 on the day I'm playing this, and the, so the game has been out for 11 days, so so many people have already beat the game, which is like crazy, but they have committed and <laughs> beat the game. And so does that mean, do you think Ketterick came from here? Do you think Ketterick was once with these people, but then he turned to the Absolute? Like he wasn't always with the Absolute? That could be an interesting part of his backstory and something that we'll be able to look into in the future. So let's see. Oh, that's so nice, the Albert reference to the Albert. Let's read these eagles first before we place the rune that Wrath gave us into the socket. Actually, before we do anything, what's over here? Anything here? Best avoid that trap. Oh, we best should. We could catch Shadowheart. Okay, so now looking at this, we need to find the the rune that was given to us. Well. Here we go. Just click it, I guess. Activate with the rune of the wolf here. not messing around. Look at the beautiful stairs that come up here. Unbelievable. This is amazing. Hmm, what is this? Secret societies of the Forge Coast. Harper, Shadow Druid's Clerk. <coughs> Dark just is mysterious. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on here. So, the druid's note, let's look here. The Emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I asked. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. Interesting. So why does touch... Stomach. 
What is this? A glaive. Sorrowful lash. Interesting. You'll probably end up selling this. <clears throat> the great axe is just better for strength. Really cool, man. Really cool. That should close this arc entirely. Now, what I want to do in the rest of the video before we trigger the party is I want to talk with everybody. I want to talk with everybody now that we've defeated the goblins and before we have the party. Because this probably may be the last time I talk with them because they're going to head out. So let's push on. So we saw we had a brief conversation with Kaga who pretty much just said, like, enjoy the peace while it lasts. What's this union plaque over here? <clears throat> that mural. Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. Fascinating. Let's talk with Shadowheart. She seems to want to say something. I'm going to organize my saves here because I'm having just too many saves here. We don't need the time marker on it, so... Grove sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. We'll say Shah's warriors. Care to elaborate? You know me. I'm not usually one to elaborate if I can avoid it. No, she's not. They looked like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. Says, sounds like you aspire to join them. What right-minded servant of Lady Shah wouldn't? But it's a distant dream. The Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it. But there's nothing to be done about it just now. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave for now. What's this part here? The towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. The broken helmet bears the mark of Shah, the dark lady. And if the darkest one is Shah, moonrise must be her celestial sister. Wow. What is going on here with Shah? This is fascinating. Let's look at the wild part. Let's save first. The forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. The mural depicts druid and beast fighting together to drive monsters from their land. It looks like they were victorious, and yet the monsters have returned. Interesting. This is exactly why we want to look through all this stuff, because this is so cool. My claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildling sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanas, god of nature. Beautiful. Gale is inspired. We're on local history from druidic Ferrisos. What does the logbook say here? Interesting. Okay. Let's go talk with Loie. 
you did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. Doesn't seem like he was too ecstatic, but hey. He did say thanks, so. Thanks, Lily. Take care. Let's talk with everybody here. Let's look at this plaque first. By Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. All right, what's next? Well, let's start by talking with Elwyn. Do you hear them? The birds. They're beautiful. I've thought of nothing but goblins and tieflings for so long. I stopped listening. I just want to pause because that was a really beautiful moment for me, talking with Elwyn. Why? Like, you imagine Elwyn being surrounded by goblins and tieflings, right? So what does she say? Her, is she, she basically saying her mind was in a war. Her mind was in a war. Every day she's hearing the same noises of the war. And then what did she say? She said, now I hear birds. And so you get that beautiful imagery from the Larian team of someone whose mind was just lost in the war. And then after we defeat the goblin camp, the player defeats the goblin camp, her mind is at peace. So beautiful. We will bring us balance. We wasted so much time fighting each other. Sylvanas taught us a lesson by letting an outsider save us. I hear the goblin leaders met their ends. Unfortunate for them, but very fortunate for the Grove. Very. Oh, there's a whole path over here. I just missed this. This is unbelievable. What did I tell you? Soup. Feels like I've been holding my breath for a ten day. With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. I am in your debt, my friend. We'll say it will leave. What's this scribbled note? Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough as is. Where is Tuffet? Where is yes, Tuffet she lays around on you? By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. So what's down here? We don't, can't talk to these people, I think. There is something over here. Strange I don't have a speak with animals. Like an elixir of speak with animals would have been useful. But I can always come back to the grove, you know, and experience that content later. At least I believe I can. But I may not be able to, and that's okay. Mm. 
animal handling. Get in guidance. Oh no. Failed my roll. Let's have Shadowheart to give it a go. Got to press on. Connection back to the other place? It is, yeah. Wow, that's so nice. And the camp is over there. And you see the new music again. Remember, once we beat the goblins, the music changed. This is just classic Larian music here. So beautiful. Best of the best, man. The music is so beautiful. I'm going to have to write a song about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. For a time, at least. That's it. We can head to the city. Don't know about you. But I'm ready to start my life again. I'm happy for you, Tilsus. There may be another path over here. Yeah, there is. See back here, but I don't know if there's anything here. No, I think this was just for the bugbear. Let's talk with Nadira now that we've defeated the goblins. What a mess. I wonder if the goblins have anything valuable on them. A bit strange of a thought. Here through the telescope. We get perception, squint at the distant object trying to make out further details, or will perception focus the telescope on the distant object trying to get a clearer view? A dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. Move the telescope to the left. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right.
That may have been Joaquin's rest. Very cool. Watching gods. While I was training children, you were out cutting down an entire goblin camp. Hmm. Well, those children Goodbye, need training, everyone. so that's good. Let's go. We could talk with Zevlor last. I expected goblins at our gate any moment. Glad to say that you made a prettier sight. Thanks, soldiers. We did. A cannon. He'd be proud of you. I know he would. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. Thanks, sweetheart. We have on shirt. The less likely anyone will give us trouble. You took care of the goblins. Nice work. Great job, Kardani. I'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset. But you did it. You stopped the goblins. Thank you. Thanks, Pandirna. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. I know you guys will. Good oh, job, Lucas. Grab a blade. We did it. We actually did it. We did. A cannon. You've solved one problem for us. Guess it's on us to solve the next. It sure looks like it, man. Take care, Memnos. You killed the goblins. Hope you made them suffer. They probably suffered plenty, Arca, but I hope that's not where your mind is. I hope your mind is on rebuilding and Arm forging yourself. a new life in Baldur's Gate. Better to have a weapon and not need it. If we get separated or need to break out Let's talk with Gan here, young Gan. I hate you. You killed all the goblins, and now we can't practice swords anymore. Okay, if you don't bite off more than you can chew, Gan. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Baldur's Gate, mind. No discounts. I'm offended, Madis. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Oh, is that so? Let's say I'm looking Always for Always a deal to be done, even now. Very cool, man, very cool. Actually, we want that, those thieves tools, <laughs> for sure we do. Lose these tools so easily in this game, especially because I don't have a, a, a rogue or a ranger or anything like that. Pick up the these tools. All right, great stuff. Try not to die up there. Same to you. Right. All of our takings stashed away for the journey. Take care, Maul. And that's where I'll go ahead and end the video there for this week. With that, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.